Now, one of the problems you can get when you glue up the lamination like this is that the strips don't go together perfectly square. They take on a little bit of a lean, either because of the, the grain of the wood, the way the clamps tighten up, the jig may not be absolutely spot on. And so if you end up with a, a piece of wood where your sides and your faces are exactly 90 degrees to one another, you can say you've done a really good job, but you've just been blooming lucky. And just looking at this one, it looks like there's a slight slant up at the top end there. So I'll just find a square and we'll just check that. Now we can see there that there's a bit of an outer square scenario. And while we've got the gauge set up to mark our centre line, now would be a good time just to, to try and rectify that so that we've got our two parallel faces and the front and the back square. The only issue with this is because this is going to be the top of the stem and this is going to be the bit that's seen, on close inspection it is going to look a bit odd because the strips are going to be slightly thinner, narrower at one side than the other. But it's, it's either that or we build the boat with a crooked stem. So we'll just shave a little bit off there. There's a very slight swing. That's that's pretty good there. So we've got a bit to come off at that end. So it's fine there. Starts twisting off a little bit there. That's the top of the stem there. So I'm not too worried about that because we're actually going to, here anyway, we're only going to end up with the middle half inch where the stem gets shaped. But up at the top, it's going to be left square, so we just need to square up this end and then just check for the scarf lower down.
There's our stem with our centre line marked. There's our stem pattern. Sits about there. Really the two things we want to deal with next are marking out where the rebate for the planks are and the shape of the front of the stem. On our pattern we've got this curved line there which tells us where the, the, the shape of the stem comes to. Transfer that onto there. We've also got a mark for the top of the stem, outside and inside. And our shear line. Well, we're here we can cut mark our scarf I'll just go around them in pen so we know where they are Now generally the way these boats are built we have our stem that sort of shape can't draw straight lines upside down That's roughly the shape of our stem and our apron then sits there. So that's one piece of wood and that's another. And the planks sit in there. So we end up with a V cut into the stem but because the angle of the plank coming into the stem changes as it comes up the boat we could spend hours cutting and fiddling and planing and chiselling that as accurately as we want to on the bench but then you find when you put it actually up and you, you start planking the boat you still have to nibble away little bits of wood here and there. So what I tend to do is to just set a router with a V cutting bit a fixed distance from the inside of the stem down around there just to save me an awful lot of chiselling later on. So what I'm going to do is while the stem is still square like that I'm going to cut a groove down at each side but obviously stopping where I need to stop down near the scarf at the bottom of the stem that joins in with the keel
that's the keel, that's the stem, that's the hog, and then on top of that sits our dead wood, our big reinforcing knee up in the stem. And this, the rebate that gets cut here, is quite radically changing because down here the plank is fairly flat. By the time it comes up to the stem, it's almost vertical. So I tend to leave that bit and fit that when the plank is actually being wrapped up around it on the boat. So for that reason, we'll leave this area here clear of any groove so we can groove our stem from there up to within about half an inch of the shear line which is there. Uh, 